What's going on all of my SoFi stock investors? It is that time of the night to get into a SoFi stock update and I am very excited to bring you guys this one because we have the Fed meeting today and like I have been calling out, it was a bullish reaction for SoFi even though the Fed meeting was not bullish whatsoever what is going on here what can we expect how long will this rally last because i still ultimately think a market crash is coming but not really for sofi and a lot of the stocks that are already beaten into the ground i think a lot of the large caps will need to come down and recover because their earnings are gonna get hit in 2022 comparatively to 2021 say look at something like apple it's going to be hard to match those earning expectations and you could see a flood of money heading into stocks like sofi once growth slows down because sofi offers 35 percent year-over-year growth in their revenue and their broad business in other segments it's a lot higher than that but we'll get into all of that and much more later on into this video let's get into it sofi stock is up 4.5 percent in regular trading up three percent here in after hours so this is a really really good move and a much needed move what is going on and why is sofi actually benefiting from this especially here in after hours well the markets are kind of slow to realize but the fed actually said that they only see 2.8% growth for the GDP in 2022, down from 4% in previous projections. So like I just talked about, when you actually see the economy slowing down, you see investors flood into growth stocks because they want growth in their portfolio. And if a stock's growing 30% and the economy is not growing nearly close to that, then it oftentimes makes sense to invest in those high growth companies especially at that time the multiples are usually down in the dirt for these high growth stocks like we see with sofi powell also says that he expects inflation to return to two percent but the comeback will take longer than initially expected he said that every meeting is a live meeting and what the markets really love is this powell says chances of a recession are not particularly elevated and there's been a lot of uh, people and even signs pointing to a possible recession coming this year and i think that's probably going to happen and the fact that powell says it's not really likely is a big big thing but as well as that the fed said they are going to announce balance sheet reduction at a future meeting so they did not actually confirm that that was going to start this meeting they did not confirm it was going to start today so investors they basically took that as a hey we can go ahead and buy stocks and then we know coming at the may meeting you're going to see the balance sheet start to be uh reduced so basically buy the dip sell in may and go away that is a saying sell in may and go away a lot of people go enjoy their summer a lot of people literally sell in may and go away come back around october typically stronger month of the year you get that holiday demand as well as the january effect the spring enthusiasm for the new year all of that so that's really why you're seeing a uh uh bounce so hard today about four percent to the nasdaq and even sofi stock going up dramatically you know like i said four and a half percent regular trading up 2.8 percent in after hours almost approaching nine dollars again so definitely some good things to point out here for the short term but a lot more bears than i was actually expecting they're talking about seven rate hikes a rate hike at every single fed meeting what you guys can watch is the fed rate monitor tool and what you should be paying attention to is this may meeting if the probability for a half percent rate hike continues to climb and that would be this right here if uh this 26.2 percent uh line continues to go higher that will mean potentially a half percent rate hike is coming by may and i think that's going to be the next worry of investors but still currently 73.8 percent of investors only expect that quarter percent rate hike so nonetheless it's still looking on the bullish side and 26.2 percent is a decent uh expectation to see a half percent so if that does continue to go down maybe if the cpi readings are not as high as we expect coming later on in uh next month then we might actually see 
the markets rel relax a little bit and see a uh, uh, room for a rally. Now, that's really what you need to know from the Fed. Not too much else that was actually important. Did ask a lot of questions, and obviously there's a lot more that you could add to this. But as far as what's going to affect the markets, that is it. Now, let's get into the specific SoFi data, like the short interest. Look at the short interest, guys. 19.36%. Current shares that are sold short of 139.67 million shares. That is a lot. But check out the cost to borrow max is now at 19%. And the utilization is at 100%. That means if you are, you are an investor in SoFi, uh, institutional or hedge fund, you could lend out your stock for 19%. That's a great return by anybody's standards. 19%. Who wouldn't lend out their stock for 19%? Well, if you thought if you thought the stock was going to go up 30% here in the next two months, you probably wouldn't lend out your stock for 19%. Util utilization still being at 100% means hedge funds, institutions are not willing to lend out their stock. And the cost of borrow max has been going up across the board today, which does imply to me that you are going to see a big move to the upside, especially in a lot of these uh, stocks that are really uh, one shorted into the ground. SoFi, AMC, DraftKings, Affirm, PayPal, Square, all of these companies that you already know about, you're probably invested in, but at the same time, they are going to see a big move to the upside. So pretty interesting right there. The days to cover is sitting at 3.26. I really don't think we're prone for a short squeeze, but if we do see a rally to the upside, it could definitely cause one or at the very least cause buying power to come into the stock. As we do know, around that $15 share price, a lot of these sellers uh, of long SoFi stock, like me or you, the selling was really done. You've seen a lot of shorting that has really pushed us down under uh, $15 per share. Ever since 15, you've seen the short interest just balloon here. The short interest is this yellow line. Just as soon as we broke above or under $15 per share, short interest shot through the roof. As far as the option activity, that's sitting at 31% positive order value, 10 orders totaling $2.47 million. So not a big day as far as options are concerned, but you are seeing a lot more calls that are starting to come through. Like this one, a May 20th $10 call for $192,000. So some big orders that are coming through, but a lot of them are not uh, really relevant, right? Like we just said, not too much actual volume happening for the day as far as options are concerned. Now, something else that did happen today is actually on a positive note, and this is why the markets were up so much before the Fed meeting, and then it, it kind of just plunged through the floor uh, uh, during the Fed meeting. It was essentially that Russia and Ukraine are very close to seeing a ceasefire or coming to some kind of mutual agreement. That's why the markets were up as much as 1.8% before the Fed meeting. And it's not quite sure what the actual uh, implementation is of that, what would have to be done to get there. But a lot of bullish talk about a potential ceasefire. If that does come at the same time as we're obviously in this bullish Powell rally, then you could see a bigger move to the upside. That would be a lot of uncertainty gone. And that would mean investors are going to price in less potential inflation because obviously supply chains should get better. You know, the food that comes from Ukraine and Russia, 30% of the wheat, 90% of the sunflower oil that comes from Russia, other precious metals, those prices should come down and that should lead to, like I said, lower inflation and that's going to make people very very excited as well as that would kind of take off the short-term possibility of seeing uh the next world war so for a lot of good reasons that would be a very bullish thing for the markets i'm really not holding my hat to it but it certainly is possible now as far as the technical analysis is concerned we did hit that rsi severe oversold level at 30 now we're sitting at 35.8 after this slight bounce that we've seen definitely not making up the loss that we've seen but it's starting to look a little bit better than not we are going back up the macd is still incredibly bearish right now this gap has really started to widen but uh it looks like we're gonna head back to the bullish side of things 
as far as the 20 day simple moving average that is at ten dollars 23 cents per share that's really going to be your resistance level and we need to watch that if we break out past 10 then in the short term i think we could go to about 12 dollars per share i really think you'd get a lot of resistance around this level and that's really the top that we've seen uh around uh earnings right you've seen a lot of enthusiasm hit that 12 dollar peak came uh right back down didn't waste a second coming back down as far as the 50-day moving average that is sitting at $11.84 for whatever reason if we you know do break out over that and over 12 then uh, we could go back to that $14 uh, level and that's really the main level $14 is key that was our support level for a very long time so if we could get above that eventually we will that would be a very good thing also you did have Jim Cramer last night that said to buy SoFi stock so take that for what it is he said a lot of good things about Anthony Noto and I definitely think SoFi is a buy right now it's it's an easy buy in my personal opinion this is a 10x stock in the next couple of years in my opinion but Nonetheless, that is pretty much what you guys need to know as far as the max pain is concerned the price where the most option holders lose the most amount of money that is $10 per share by the end of this week. So that would also imply an upside move from here. And finally, my position in SoFi. Uh, average cost of $14.92, 475 shares in this portfolio, 10% of the portfolio weighting, which is, I mean, a lot and I'm down 41% down about $3,000 market value of $4,175 up 280 bucks today I will take it now I do have some options in SoFi as well I have the $10 uh, April 14th calls I have five of them I bought them at uh, $32 a piece I'm up about 28% or about $45 on these I think they could be really good and I'm kind of just gonna ride them out at this moment if we do for whatever reason see you know that ceasefire come into play with russia ukraine that could be huge and that could really send these options home as well as our portfolios would look very very nice so that is going to be all for this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think about this information down below in the comment section go ahead get yourself free stocks links down below in the description as well with weeble mumu and public right now if you sign up for mumu deposit one dollar you will get three free stocks as well as an additional free share of neo and china stocks today went wild so take advantage of that while that does last and also last but not least this headline that is hitting cnbc it says feds feds rate forecast signals willingness to sacrifice growth to stop inflation strategists say and that's probably seen as a good thing for markets in general do whatever you got to do to get inflation down that's kind of the motto right now so that is all for this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one